It has lawmakers asking questions. Tonight we're hearing from a state senator about the state's needle exchange. The Fayette County Health Department requires a person to bring in a dirty needle to get a clean one. But in Louisville, it's not a requirement. And some lawmakers want to see more restrictions. Miranda Combs talks to a state senator about the measure. State Senator Whitney Westerfield tells me he's pretty confident there will be new legislation regarding the state's needle exchange program. The Fayette County Health Department is one of just two needle exchanges in the state. The other is in Louisville, where it's not required to bring in dirty needles to get clean ones back. In Fayette County, if a person brings in dirty needles, they can get up to 21 needles back at a time. Louisville's way of giving out needles without taking any has raised eyebrows since the summer for for legislators like Westerfield. One of the purposes anyway was to make sure we cut down on needle sticks or the, the occurrence and presence of needles, dirty needles just out in the general public. And if we're putting more needles out than we're getting in, that's still a risk that's out there that we're not addressing as well as we should. Westerfield says he's not sure who will file a bill, but he feels confident someone will file legislation requiring a one-for-one -one needle exchange. Westerfield says when they designed the initial needle exchange, they didn't put restrictions on it at the time, figuring different parts of the state would want to handle it differently. Miranda Combs for the Fox 56 10 o'clock news. Franklin County's fiscal court recently approved a needle exchange program as well.